Greetings all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is Sunday, it is a yucky day out. In fact, it is only in the 50s and it's been pouring all, like all night, all morning and it really isn't supposed to get too much warmer, like maybe mid 60s, I don't know, it sucks. Today, I had planned on going to the Chesapeake Bay area across the street from where I used to live when I first moved here. And they have this thing, I think you might call it like Flotation City or some shit like that. Basically a shit ton of drunk people get together and they lash all of their devices, these floaty things, and they build these big like freaking house, air house thingies and just drink and be obnoxious and then leave the beach a freaking disaster. And that's pretty much every Memorial Day weekend and Sunday's usually the day they launch it. It's in the 50s. However, I don't put anything past drunks to find a way to go out and drink and get drunk. So I'm still gonna probably go there anyways later just to see you know, what's going on. But unfortunately, it's a bad day. <laughs> well, here we are at the Chesapeake Bay on a glorious Memorial Day weekend. I used to live across the street over there. I used to walk this stretch of beach like every day. I got spectacular sunset shots and used to walk along the beach. This is what's left of it. There's no beach. There is so much erosion here that it's literally coming up to the wall. Well, as you can see, they ain't here today. And as you can tell, or maybe, I don't even know if you can hear me or not because it's just like so crazy, but it's, it's just brutal out here. I would love to see these idiots all tied up with their little, little donuts <laughs> in that. So yeah, that's that. Uh, I guess it didn't happen this year and my goal was to come here today and film it. I did get here, nothing to film. So we're gonna go back, um, like right over there is Pleasure House Point. So, I mean, you can also see that the, my camera's just getting pelted with, with rain. It's not actually raining, it's that like drizzly, misty shit. And because the wind is so brutal over on this side that uh, it's just, I'm getting pelted. So I'm gonna go back now and probably just get in the car and go home, because this sucks, yeah. <laughs> okay, so as we've pretty much already established across the street at the bay, it's a shit day out. Pretty horrible Memorial Day weekend, all in all. Yesterday, it was so humid that you kind of didn't want to do anything anyways. And then it ended up letting loose, and then it just pretty much rained from then on in. It was a nice night for sleep though, because it rained all night. It stormed all night and it was just perfect to sleep in and just lay there and be like, ah. Okay, so this place right here, that's where I used to live for the first two years when I moved here to Virginia Beach from Chicago. That was my place. We loved it here. This was a great neighborhood. It was a nice location. We started building our lives here, but the place was a money pit. It was in dire need of an update. And they just, they didn't do anything. I did everything. And finally, with the massive electric bills and just in general, everything needing to be updated, I was like, we need to get the hell out of here. And that's when we went to the place where we live now, which we got as a rental. And long story short, we ended up buying it. So now that's where we live. But I still come back here all the time because I mean, right here is Pleasure House Point. So yeah, totally digging this setup here with the new Sony 20 millimeter 1.8 and the Sennheiser MKE 400. I think it sounds like better than pretty much anything like this that I've ever had. I still like the Rode Wireless Go 2. 
I'm a little bummed that it's been as long as it has and they haven't responded to me. They did say that they usually try to get back to people within 72 hours and it has been longer than 72 hours. But whatever, I've got this mic. I'm perfectly satisfied with it. See what they do or what they don't and kind of go from there. I am not daunted by the fact that this lens does not have stabilization because the 16 to 35 had stabilization and everything still looked like shit. So I have since, I'm not in the Forerunner, jacked the shutter speed back up to 1 500th and now I will put all this through Catalyst Brows. And since it's so shitty out and it just, it's like, it kind of rains, then it doesn't, then it kind of rains, then it doesn't, I think I'm, I'm done being pelted. You can see by my reactions on my faces, this is all the freaking rain smacking my eyeballs. So I am here at Three Ships. I have that going on here. All right, so I'm gonna go get coffee. I'll be right back. <laughs> What's been going on this week? Back on the road, which you saw if you watched my video from Friday night. Uh, I have been just crazy with new gear and new setups and getting whole new flows going and all that kind of stuff. Not posting something every day. Filming every day, not posting every day. I am not going to post or I'm not going to edit anything when I'm on the road. It's just too damn difficult. I have too much stuff I have to carry that I have going on to deal with posting. Also, the other thing is I'm, I'm in hotels with notoriously shitty Wi-Fi, and I'm not gonna do it with a cell signal. It's not gonna happen. You did see that I sort of cut together all my footage throughout the week, or throughout the time that I was gone, whatever, and put it together into one video. That's kind of the way this is gonna go. I mean, don't forget, I'm a shitty vlog. I'm not a cinematic masterpiece channel. So you're gonna see a lot more of that. There's gonna be a lot of footage of me in the truck. There's a lot of footage of me around and about in the hotels and this, that, and the other thing. This last week, it was really just uh, kind of awful because I, it was such a shock for me after a year and a half finally getting back out on the road that it made it really difficult for me to even like, oh yeah, I, I brought my camera. In fact, when I went to the steakhouse to get that steak that I've been waiting a year and a half for, you know, the waitress actually, oh, that's a really nice camera, you know, blah, 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 you know, and she asked me this, that, and the other thing, and we talked about it and all that stuff. And the whole time I forgot to film. <laughs> so yeah, out of practice, way out of practice. Now, you will also notice that I keep looking down instead of over or up. I had to, in redoing the studio space, I had to move the Ninja from above where it was sitting behind the camera because it was behind the camera. Essentially, the way I had to put this all together, it was sitting so that the MKE 400 and the handle that I use on the A7C setup was blocking the screen enough that it was annoying. So just earlier today, what I had to do, I had to move the table a little bit closer to me it, so that I could pull the tripod that had the Cinerig set up on it closer to me. But then I had to re-angle all the lights and get everything set up again and move the Ninja down to underneath the camera with a magic arm. And so it goes A7C, Ninja, free world monitor, which is for the overhead ZV-1 setup. So yeah, lots of changing. That's it. That's all I've got. I miss posting on a daily basis it has become a part of me so I need to sort of work around that and try to figure something out if you have any comments suggestions musings jokes whatever put them in the comments down below as always thank you for joining me be sure to like and subscribe and remember kids forward and up